Six to eight meals a day, three tips, trips to the gym, and daily weigh-ins are normal for some. So is ordering nothing but a plate when you go out to a restaurant. Competitive bodybuilder Eric Hagen is here to tell us about his training and time getting on the stage. Thanks for being on the show with us today, Yeah, Eric. thanks for having me. So what made you want to start bodybuilding? Um, you know, I just missed the rush of competing. Um, I had a short career playing football at Moorhead and UND, and once I ended it, I just I missed competing and I missed mm -hmm. doing that. So I missed a healthy lifestyle, and I decided to get into the gym and get back to it. Okay, now I understand that there are a couple different types of bodybuilding. What type do you do? I do physique. Okay. And what does your schedule look like then? Um, during contest prep, you know, it starts early, usually about 5, 5.30 in the morning. I um, start with a cardio for about 45 to an hour. And then I got my school and I got to fit in my meals. I eat a meal every two and a half hours and then I end up back at the gym probably about seven o'clock at night, get a full lift in and uh, end with another cardio. So how do you balance this with school and if you have a job and things like that? Um, actually, with this actually made schooling better for me because mm -hmm. it made me have to fit school in. <laughs> so I'd usually kind of make it like a work day. You know, I go to school from 10 to 1. I'd study from 1 to 3 and then I had the rest of the day to focus on training. So what kind of things do you eat then if you have to eat two, every two and a half hours? Um, during contest prep, it's pretty slim. It's usually chicken, um, natural peanut butter. In the morning I get eggs and oatmeal, but it's usually chicken and peanut butter. <laughs> yeah. As little as that sounds, so. So I, I've done some research and I understand that you guys have kind of a day off where yep. you, you don't have to eat chicken and peanut butter, yeah. I guess. So what, what is a cheat meal? What is that? Um, it could be as little as you know, just having a steak and potato from a restaurant, you know, just having someone else cook your meal for you. Mm -hmm. Or it can be as big as, you know, going out and having pancakes and eggs and hash browns. I usually stuck to a steak and potato when I got closer to the show, but otherwise I usually had a nice carb refeed and that's where you eat a lot of carbs throughout the day. Mm -hmm. um, so Pop-tarts and cereals and pancakes and the stuff like stuff, that. Kinda. Yeah, <laughs> the enjoyable stuff. So who kind of made this nutrition and this fitness plan for you? Um, a couple guys at the gym, um, two of the owners from Ironworks, um, Adam and Paul, they helped me a lot with my training. And Tom Seidel, who is a known bodybuilder around town, mm -hmm. he really gave me a lot of good advice on dieting and lifting, so I owe a lot of it to those guys. So as far as eating goes, do you just eat natural foods or do you also use some supplements too? Um, yeah, well, I mean, it's, it's supplement is, is kind of a, a known thing for bodybuilding. You know, you got your proteins and you got your fish oils, your vitamins, your animal packs. I mean, the list goes on. You could take a lot of things, but you know, if you're eating right, and you're eating enough protein through your foods, you really don't need to supplement that much. Are they expensive? It gets pricey. Yeah. You know, that's why you try order online or, mm -hmm. you know, just get the cheap no-name brand protein. It's all the same. I mean, yeah. it's, it's the name. Okay. So what do you do when you go out to eat? I mean, if your parents are wanting to take you out to dinner, what do you do? <laughs> I usually try to neglect that. But, I mean, if it's someone's birthday or something. Mm -hmm. I mean, I remember one time I had to uh, order just a plate. I had to bring my own. <laughs> I brought my own meal from home. And I just uh, put that meal from home on the plate at the restaurant and ate it there. It's kind of embarrassing, but I mean, you do what you got to do if you're competing. So I know that you started bodybuilding because you used to play football and you kind of wanted yep. to stay fit, but why do a lot of other people bodybuild? You know, someone who might be in their 30s or 40s. Um, it's just, it? it's a healthy lifestyle, you mm -hmm. know, and a lot of people just like looking good like that. You know, I mean, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm not saying that that's the only reason why, but a lot of people feel that thrive, that rush from build, uh, lifting weights and they just enjoy it, you know. Yeah. Now you said you've been in some competitions before, am I right? Yep. Can you tell me where those were and how you placed and all that? Um, I took my first show, it was in October, mm -hmm. and um, I took six in that one. I, bought, I think it was 18 or 19 guys, so I felt pretty confident about that. Um, I wanted to place There's higher, some though. pictures, too, I think they've got. Is that one from one of your competitions? Uh, yes. Yep, that was from my most recent show. That was in the cities. Okay, very cool. Very yeah, cool. I, uh, I took third in my show in Fargo, mm -hmm. which is the best I've ever done. I was very happy about that. Yeah, it's impressive. Um, and then I had a show in the cities, which is a lot more, more competitors, a lot tougher. I took fourth in that show. So Great. I've done pretty well. I'm hoping to do better next time. So how do you prep the day before the show? I mean, I know when people run marathons and that kind of thing, they don't necessarily run the day before. What do you do? Um, well, it could be as stressful as you want it to be, or it can be as relaxing as you want it to be. Um, as long as you make your registration on time <laughs> and get your weight and height checked in, you're pretty much fine. It's, it's really a relaxing day, so as long as you're eating your meals and keeping on track of what you need to do, it's usually pretty easy. Now, I assume competitions are really strict, so what kind of things do they have you wear? Um, well, it depends. For physique, it's board shorts, you know, mm -hmm. so shorts you'd wear on the beach. The only thing you really have to watch out for is you don't want them to be, you know, if you're size 32, you don't want to wear a size 32 because obviously you're smaller than you were. Mm -hmm. So you want to make sure that they fit you right. 
Yeah. So what do they do for you at the competition? Do they do anything to make you look better in the lighting or anything like uh, that? Spray tans. <laughs> a lot of spray tan? Yeah, um, and everybody makes fun of me about it because like, why are you so dark? And it's like, well, I really don't have that, that choice, you know? Yeah. Um, you pay to get your spray tan. You usually get one the night before and the morning of. So you look pretty thick. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so where do you see your career going after this? I um, mean, you know, I'm kind of just going to go with the flow. I mean, I love, I love doing it. It's enjoyable. It's something that makes me happy. So I'm just going to keep competing, and if something comes from it, awesome. If not, I'm still going to enjoy doing it. Are there competitions coming up in the future then? Uh, there's two more coming up within the next couple months. I'm considering doing one at the end of May. Um, kind of see where I'm at in a couple weeks and see if I'm going to do it or not. It's not something I'm commit commit to, but it's something that I'm looking at looking at doing. Will you stick through it through the, through the summer and stuff oh, yeah. too? All the yeah. dining and whatnot? Yeah. I mean, it's not going to be as strict, but mm -hmm. I'm going to keep up with it. All right. Well, thanks for being on the show with yep, us today, Yeah, no problem. Eric.